Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm going to show you how to get Skyrim running on your Android phone or your Android tablet. Now, this is not cloud gaming. This is not streaming from a PC. This is actually emulation using an application known as WinLater. Last month, I made a video showing you how to get Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Fallout 4 up and running. And at the time, I was not able to get Skyrim working on any Android device. And if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know Skyrim is one of my favorite games of all time, along with a lot of other people out there. The phone I'm using here is the Red Magic 8 Pro with that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, and unfortunately, even with the new update to win later, we're still kind of lacking Gen 3 support. And just to give you a look here, Task Manager and win later, we've got Skyrim Special Edition running. So yeah, this is not cloud gaming, it's not streaming, it's actually running on this device being emulated with win later. There are modified versions of WinLater out there right now that'll let you run this on a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. But to tell you the truth, through my testing, I haven't seen a huge increase in performance due to optimizations. So right now we're on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, and as soon as we get some real Gen 3 support, I'll be making some more videos. I've even installed this on the new Odin 2 Mini. Even if you're working with a lower end Snapdragon device, WinLater will work, but your performance will vary. Now, if you're ready to get this up and running, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to move over to my Android tablet just to make it a bit easier to see everything. Okay, so here we are with my Galaxy Tab S9, and it's just going to make it a lot easier to record the screen. I'll show you exactly what to do here. First things first, we need to install WinLater. And to do this, we're going to open up a web browser and head over to the WinLater GitHub. Scroll on down. Read through everything. This has recently been updated at the time of making this video to 7.0. We've seen some really good fixes and performance improvements here. Over on the right hand side, we've got our releases. When later, 7.0. Might be higher in the future. We're going to download the APK. We'll open it up. Install. And if this is the first time you're ever installing an APK, might warn you. We're going to go ahead and install anyway. We'll open it. Allow. And now WinLater is going to download everything it needs in the background for us. It used to be that we had to download a separate package, but the latest versions do it all for us. It's pretty easy to set up, but there's a few things to note here. In order to set up a container, what we need to do is tap in the top right hand corner, little plus icon. We can rename our container, and whenever I create these, I usually do one per game. So I'm going to go with Skyrim here. 1280 by 720. Graphics driver, turnip, DX wrapper, DXVK. Audio driver, ALSA. Moving down a bit more. One thing I always do here is change our video memory size to four gigs. And finally, from the advanced section right here, you can see that our box 86 preset is at compatibility. Box 64 preset is at compatibility. While installing your game, I suggest leaving it here. But in order to increase performance, you can experiment once you've got everything installed, intermediate or performance with both of these. Now I've noticed that performance will lead to more crashes with certain games, but it does help out with frame rates. But again, while we're installing, we're going to leave it in compatibility mode. We're going to press the blue check here. And our container is now created. So we can actually open this up. We're going to run. And from here, we're just going to navigate, minimize this, start menu. Everything should look pretty familiar. I mean, it's like a little window setup right now. But we don't have a game to install. And I did this purposely because I want to show you exactly what's been working for me. Now, you can always go with repacks online if you want to, but personally, I use GOG games. So what I want to do is actually transfer my game over to my tablet or my phone. And to do that, I'm going to move to my Windows PC. If you wanted to go with a repack or something like that, you could download it directly on your device. It's really up to you. But since I'm using the GOG versions, I've got GOG set up on my laptop and I'm just going to transfer them right over here. All right, so let's go ahead and get the correct game. Now, in order for WinLater to work properly, and I'll tell you, there are ways around it. If you want to go another route, you can find a solution. But the easiest way to do this is to download an installer. And luckily, GOG games are DRM free. 
and we can download an offline installer for any of their games. Own games. And we're doing Skyrim Special Edition. So we're going to choose this one. And instead of choosing Install, we want to go to Extras. And right here, you can see Offline Backup Installers. We're going to download the Skyrim Special Edition Offline Installer. And obviously, this could take a little while, depending on your internet connection. But this is now downloading. Once this is done, this is exactly what we're going to be transferring over to our Android device. This is going to allow us to easily get up and running with WinLater. Now that we've got the offline installer downloaded, let's transfer it over to our Android device. So I've got my Galaxy Tab S9 plugged in. We're going to be transferring this to our download section, but you can basically put it anywhere. From your PC, Program Files, x86, GOG Galaxy, Games, and we're doing Skyrim. These are all the files we need. So this is the offline installer. And what I'm going to do is just use the whole folder, place it right on my Android device. Let this transfer over. Once this is done, we can move back over, get this up and running. Back over to our Android device. We're just going to double check here from a file manager. Downloads, Skyram Anniversary Edition. Right in here, we've got all of the setup files we need. And this is just going to be in our downloads. Um, that's exactly where WinLater is going to pull from. So we'll start WinLater back up. We're going to run the container we created. From here, we're going to go to our D drive. Double tap. Skyrim Anniversary Edition, double tap, downloads, and you can see we've got the application right here. So you can double tap or two finger tap, open, give it a second to initialize. We'll minimize this. Okay. Now we've got the installer up and running. We're going to agree, install. Give it a little while to install. It'll let you know when it's all done. After this is finished, we can start the game up. But there are a couple little tweaks that I'd like to show you here, especially with that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And hopefully in the future, we do get real Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 support. We've successfully installed Skyrim on our Android device using WinLater. Few little things here. I actually do want to launch this because I need to change the settings. So we're going to launch options. And from here, we want to turn the settings down. So it looks like we're not even at 720, which is fine with me on this. I want to go full screen. So we're going to disable window mode, low settings, and you can experiment. Uh, some of these settings may not change performance much, but I'm just going to low to see exactly what we can do. Advanced. Screen space. View distance. I want to get the best performance out of this game. We're going to choose OK. And we can start it up right now. So I just wanted to make sure that this started up. I'm going to exit Skyrim and I'm going to change a few of the settings just to get better performance. We're also going to add an FPS counter. We'll open WinLater back up. Three dots. Edit. Show FPS. And remember, I showed you from the advanced section, we can try performance. Again, it may crash on you, so you might need to go back to intermediate or compatibility. But we're going to go to performance and see what happens here. And I know that we're not running a 32-bit application, but I still want to enable all the cores across. We'll save that. Now we're ready to play, and I would suggest using a controller, Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth works great. And for my Galaxy Tab, I also use a cooler, that way we can get maximum performance for longer periods of time. And since we've already installed the game from WinLater, if we tap on the hamburger menu, we can go to shortcuts and start the game up right here. That way we don't need to, you know, boot into the container. 
we can play the game directly from this shortcut that's automatically created. We've enabled the FPS counter, so it's up in the top left hand corner. And the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in this won't run at a constant 60. Even in performance mode, we're right there around 55 FPS. On the Red Magic 8 Pro, we do have a mode called Diablo mode, which will allow the clocks on the CPU and GPU to just be maxed out all the time. We can get real close to running at a constant 60 with this game. But yeah, I mean, it's still pretty amazing seeing this game run on an Android device. And we're basically just emulating a PC here in Android with WinLater. So straight off the bat, with this one, having that performance mode on might have hurt me. Actually, it's coming back up now. I'd say with this, I'll probably go back to intermediate, but it's not horrible. So right there, anywhere from 45 up to 55 FPS with the Galaxy Tab S9. And as soon as we get official support for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, I think we will see better performance. Again, I've done a video testing out some games with a modified version of Win Later on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Performance was great, but if you kind of compare it to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 with the way the drivers are right now, there's not a huge improvement. But this is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Again, Skyrim is one of my favorite games. And personally, I don't mind playing at 50 FPS in Android. Of course, you could go with the Steam Deck or the ROG Ally. But if you've got an Android phone and you want to see if this works, it's actually pretty easy to set up. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. If you do end up getting this running on your device, let us know in the comments below what device it is, what CPU, how much RAM, and what settings you're using. I'll leave links to the official WinLater GitHub in the description. And like always, thanks for watching.